and a wild potter appears. Harry Squatter here with another video. We are today training high bar back squats, working up to a single at I believe RPE 8 or 8.5. I'm gonna have to double check, but uh, instead of waffling on at the start of the video, I'm gonna work my way up and then waffle as I go on. So it's like pre-waffle into active waffle and then post waffle potentially. Depends. Boom. <laughs> oh, what a noise. What a noise. I love that sexy cling clang clong of the metal plates. <laughs> You never get too much of the cling clang clang. And then you've got the girthy glip glop glab. What? The glip glow glab glab of the glip clang. No. <laughs> We've got the girthy metal spring clip that requires at least te uh, six in strength to uh, pry open with your grip. Are you ready for this? The little things in life, you see. Well, that's what she said. I don't know how true that is. But it's, she said the little things in life are the things that we enjoy most, especially when you really appreciate them. So since she said that, I just appreciate the little things in life, you know? I'm in a gym plays decent music so if I want to no earphone it I can no earphone it you know whereas if you no earphoned pure gym you were pretty cold-blooded um, you know pretty damn cold as as a person having to listen to Barbie girl and the the, uh, the newest Taylor Swift song having to lift heavy to that if you had no earphones in Damn, I respect you, soldier. I respect you, unless you like Taylor Swift. I don't, but if you do, then uh, I guess you're not that cold blooded, I guess you're a fucking pussy. Oh, you hear that noise? That was nice. That is the equivalent to shaking a big old bouncing backside. This bar is pretty damn solid. It doesn't roll at all, which is very nice. It's nice and stiff. High level stiffness. <sighs> wow, what an entrance. God damn, that strap is annoying me. I need to get some new Velcro straps for these shoes because unfortunately, uh, the option of buying a new pair isn't, uh, well, I should probably go over why I've switched squat racks first. I've switched squat racks because it's a, you know, like an angle view. It's all sexy, it comes in and engulfs the uh, entire view, the POV, the POV, point of view. I almost forgot of the jingle jangle weights. Right, I'm fucking losing my mind. Let's get this open. I've got no earphones in. Ari Squar, what are you doing? Oh. The boy who lived came to squat. Ari? Get your fucking belt on, Harry. That's as good as it gets in terms of impressions. No more playing around now, Harry. Go squatter. Not in squatter, Harry.
What did I just hit? Whoo! That was a dangerous set. I think I hit the the uh, the J hook. So two days ago, and this is the reason I haven't posted. I threw up. My belly was an absolute mess. I felt like Jabba the Hutt just sat there, and fucking in its own stomach acid, bubbling away. It was fucking horrendous. I threw up, and so I didn't eat for around. Just over 24 hours, probably like 25, 26 hours. Today, I have eaten. Yesterday, I did eat. I, I ate some soup, but soup isn't fucking adequate. I had some soup yesterday, some lamb soup, some peas, and sweet corn, and shit, some bread rolls, and that's the first thing I ate. Um, minus like a little bit of dark chocolate beforehand in over 26 hours. Today, I had my usual porridge some blueberries, a little bit of dark chocolate, some orange juice, um, water with some creatine up. I don't feel like indulging on a heavy anabolic mass gain a protein shake would be a very good idea right now. But I'm gonna try and get a bit of uh, some chicken drumsticks in there. Regardless, the way I feel right now, I feel like the strength is there, but my body, my energy, it just isn't. So I feel kind of, a little bit jittery, um, tired. I don't feel great. I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm assuming that's because of hunger. I did wake up quite hungry and I was going to eat something, but then uh, I just would rather get some sleep in rather than force feed myself and then have to wait for it to digest before I fall back to sleep. Anyway, so today isn't great. The 200 and I think it's like 204 or five kilos or 455, I think it's in pounds. Um, felt okay, it didn't feel great, but it felt okay. Again, it feels strong, just not very, not maximum power kind of strong, not like full energy kind of strong. I feel weak, I feel like a flaccid penis. And leading up to my sickness, I did feel a bit iffy, and my energy levels were a bit all over the place. So I, my appetite was gone, almost. So I'm guessing that kind of, that was a lead up to the inevitable, the, uh, the entire bag of sick that I threw up. Not that you really want to know. Anyway, so I'm going to bust out five reps of this, hopefully. And then I might drop down and do a back off set or I might just call it and then next week come back in nice and fresh, caloried up, you know, in a calorie, calorie surplus. Um, probably nap because it'll be my earliest next week. Yeah, yeah be quite, I'll be quite fresh and that's what I want really. Anyway, I need to carry on because I forget that I've got work very soon. Um, yeah, right, let's smash this out. These aren't gonna be paused, by the way. After all, high bar and pause squats are two variations within the program itself. So doing both together, I'm assuming will take me over my jug of volume. Eight reps, baby. 4.05. I don't usually break my calmness, but damn, that got me excited. I feel erect, pulsating. I feel good. That was an incredible set. But uh, why did I do it? I don't know. Anyway, I think that's it for squats.
again. Not fully nourished. So I don't have unlimited energy like I usually do, but to pour myself a tactical protein flapjack. Then a lemon and poppy seed flavour. It's quite tasty actually. The uh, I thought this would have been very high in sugar. It turns out the carbohydrate to sugar ratio is pretty damn good. There's 51, just over 51 carbs in this, and 27 grams of sugar, which is still, you know, I'd say it's pretty damn high, but in terms of what this actually is, it's pretty good. So, I think this shall sort me through the rest of the workout. I'm gonna split this workout up. I'm gonna do my squats and bench today, and then all the leg exercises will be tomorrow. And then after tomorrow will be an upper body day where I do close grip bench press. I will be posting my deadlift session uh, tomorrow, which will be Thursday. And then <sighs> musical burp. 315 potters right here. 315 potters coming right up. Potter! That was perfect, Potter. 10 points to Gryffindor. Welcome to leg day part two. With a little twist, and that twist is, I asked a bunch of you on Instagram, what should I do? Should I do Zercher squats or Zercher deadlifts? 54% of you voted, or was it 56? 54 or 56 was you voted Zercher squat, and 44% of you voted Zercher deadlift. So, Zercher squat is. I've never done a Zercher variant of the squat or deadlift, so it shall be very interesting. I thought I'd get it fresh off the bat, the first rep ever performed. Why not? Just give it a go. Okay. So from the YouTube tutorials I've watched, You've got to try and keep an upright torso. It's very similar to the front squat, but involves a bit more, well, obviously involves a bit more of the arms, but a bit more of the posterior chain as opposed to the anterior chain. Anyway, I'm going to do like two more sets of five of the bar, get a real feel for the movement, try to find my foot placement, etc. And then we'll start adding some plates. When I was looking through the Zercher squat tutorials, I saw my idol. I am one of his number one fans, Eric Bogdibudiba, however you pronounce his name. And he does the Zercher squat without any sleeves or pussy pad. And we ain't no pussy. So we're gonna do it without no sleeves or pussy pad or fucking towels I've even seen. Nah, we ain't doing it that way. There's only one way of doing this, and that's without arm protection. <sighs> Ooh, I do see why they use arm protection though. But we ain't no pussy. We ain't no fucking pussy. Maybe a little bit, but not completely. I'm thinking, as long as I don't become a complete pussy, then, you know, as long as my arms hold up, they don't snap under the sheer weight of the metal weight plates, then we should easily be able to get 140 kilos, or 143 kilos, AKA 315 pounds. Two plates. Whilst I was going for a piss, I asked if I should just jump to 315. 
or work up slowly. And you guys played it smart. I said work up slowly. I, on the other hand, would have just jumped to 315. So you're the smart one, I'm not. So I'm just waiting for a couple of minutes on a poll I just made on Instagram. I think I'll do this more often. Okay. You kind of direct the workout a little bit, but not too much to where it's gonna be detrimental to my future progress. Anyway, the question was, bite the bullet or wear, wear sleeves to protect my arms? I thought we were all friends. Instead, you're all, I feel fucking jacked. I've got the Ace of Spades playing. Let's get this. <coughs> I don't know if you can see this, but there's already bruising occurring. So, thankfully, you gave me a bit of mercy and you said, go heavier, but protect. So I'm gonna slap these on, call myself a pussy, get over it, and up the weight. We're gonna go 160 or whatever the hell it will be in pounds. Obviously it's not kilos, so there'll be a little bit of a discrepancy, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Almost died, but not quite. Perhaps we shall pull it at that today and just carry on with the normal leg workout. But it was definitely fun. Maybe next time, four plates. Now, there's a large variety of leg machines here. We've got the, uh, well, swing press or some sort of swing leg press thing, a vertical leg press, normal leg press, got the old sissy squat there. Standing leg curl, uh, a hip thrust machine. We've got another leg press, but this is a bit more of a quad dominant leg press. You push away rather than ahead or upwards. Another one for single leg, which is pretty damn cool. One that I really want to try, which I might try out now, is the um, what do you call it? Belt squats. That's the one, belt squat. A single leg leg extension, or you could do both at the same time. A normal leg extension. That's obviously free weight, this is fixed. A lying leg hamstring curl. Can't really go wrong with the old lying leg curl. And the mighty hack squat. Also, there is a calf raise, a standing calf raise and a Hip abduction machine, but uh, I'm kind of lost for choices right now. I should probably just follow the program. And so I will follow the majority of it, but I'm going to add one of, the ex one of these exercises to my workout. And it's between the belt squats and the hack squats over there. Unfortunately, we didn't work up to the 405 Zercher squat because my arms are Truly fucked, you know, bruising, soreness, the pumpness of the uh, hemorrhage. Yeah. Okay. Belt squats feel right. It's a very different movement that I'm not very used to, but it feels good. It's definitely working the quads and the posterior chain. 
So I'm gonna bump it up two plates aside, see how that feels, see what I can get out of it. And then either I'll do two more sets of two plates or move up to three plates, bust out a top set of like eight. Make sure there's about two to three in the tank because I don't wanna feel that jug of volume and make it spill over. I've already started prattling around with these exercises. The power clean was first and now the zercher squat. But you could have a bit of fun in life. And so I think next time I'll do the zercher deadlift. Anyway, yeah, walk up to whatever, two plates, three plates, see how it feels and then go from there. But the next exercise will be either, well, no, whatever, it'll be a surprise. I really need to find a decent position. Not familiar with it, so I can't say too much on it. But it's finding my foot placement and where up or down, right or left, I should be. But I suppose that comes with time. I feel like a right girl do it now. These vest tops from Boohoo Man are way too low cut. They remind me of like a woman's crop top especially with my boobies. So, not only do I need to find my foot placement, but I also need to invest in some new clothes. Ones of which don't make me feel very feminine. Two plates felt good. I could probably do three, but because I want to get familiar with this machine, I'm going to do two more sets of two plates. Um, do bear in mind they are pound plates, so they're not going to be 80 kilos or whatever it is on top of that with the machine. It'll be something coming pounds. I should probably use the kilo plates and I will next time. But for now, because I've got to be gone and I've got things to do this Sunday, I'm just gonna get on with it. Regardless of the plate or unit of weight they are. Now you're probably thinking, these are some weird looking lunges, Ryan. But, you know, times are changing. No, lunges are still lunges at the end of the day. This is a hack squat, I'm sure you know that. I'm just being stupid at this point. I think, because I've joined this gym, um, I was here before, but I'm back here again. I'm gonna get familiar with the equipment again, which means doing a few off the program exercises. It doesn't hurt to do that once in a while. It's not gonna be completely and utterly detrimental to my progress in the future. One session isn't gonna ruin everything. So next week, back to the usual Bulgarian split squats, what squats, um, walking lunges. I get this bit of chewing gum out of my mouth. It's been sat in there for about an hour and it's just, just taste of just plastic. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm gonna try some hack squats, work up to, like I did before with the um, belt squats, two sets, three sets of eight. Uh, let's just get to it. Real close. See how that feels. there so that's one two little round circles off the bottom that's three little circles from the bottom feel like hmm 
Yeah, this one's kind of better actually. Let's do three little round circles. I don't know how many that is. Let's just say that was four, even though it wasn't. Got a welfare check, the microphone. Make sure I'm not crushing it to death. Mm. Mm. So it just don't quite feel right. I think it's because I'm not used to doing leg exercises on a machine. Feels a bit, feels very fixed. With, <laughs> That was a very obvious statement, wasn't it? Oh, I don't think I like it, you know. Now the hack squat is a fantastic leg exercise. I'm not gonna knock it. I'm probably doing it wrong, just like I was doing the belt squats wrong. Again, it's just a case of getting used to it rather than the machine itself being the issue. But being in a fixed position, as someone, as someone who does mainly functional exercises, feels, feels horrid. I feel like, I feel like I'm cemented in the atmosphere and I'm only limited to one range of motion. All my other muscles that want to get engaged are like, whoa, hold on a sec. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is a fixed machine. We want to get involved. You know, we want to join in the gang, the party. We want to have some fun. That's unfair. Fucking sad faces. All of them, all the muscles that want to be involved but aren't able to do so are sad now because I'm fixing to one point. And uh, I think that's a good thing because it shows me or it tells me when I'm listening deeply to my body that I've built a foundation off of functional strength as opposed to isolated strength that's not really a thing but I suppose it is as well you know whatever me rambling on as usual I'll do one more set and then I'll call it a session because those Zercher squats have taken it out of me I think that's a nice way to end the week though oh it's not even ended oh god there's me thinking oh you know day off tomorrow no Tomorrow is an upper body focus day. I'll be doing close grip bench presses. Tomorrow is also the first early of the shift patterns that I follow. So it's going to be a sleep deprived or hopefully not sleep deprived close grip bench press session along with a bunch of other exercises, upper body exercises. But come this SBD day, which should be Monday, Wednesday, I'll, uh, I'm really going to focus on smashing the legs smashing you know like fucking the guy with the ginger guy from rugrat said <laughs> that was smashing smashing i'm gonna smash those legs even though i've got one exercise on the sbd day four legs i'm gonna fucking eliminate every fiber that's within that exists within all of the muscles of my legs and i need to find a nice exercise for that and what better exercise than a Bulgarian split squat? You know? It's just because there's no dumbbell rack upstairs in the leg room, I'm gonna have to take some dumbbells with me, but that's not too much of an issue. A part of me misses all the, the plastic weights that made me feel strong. These metal plates don't make me feel strong. These metal plates make me feel weak. It's probably because they weigh a little bit, a little bit more, but just the cling clang clong intimidates me. As much as I love that noise, it intimidates me. It shimmers through my body. 
like walking through a graveyard at night. I know, I know I'm safe, but there's a ever-growing presence of, <laughs> you know, doom. As if that 300 kilos is further away than it should be. Okay, this has gone on for too long. In fact, at this point, I could probably just go straight for my next set. Bom, 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 bom. Let's try to figure out the... Actually, I want to be like here. What is that? That's three. One, two, one, two. It's looking pretty damn symmetrical, even though I keep moving my left foot. We shall see if this is symmetrical. It's a bit wider than I usually take in terms of stance, but why not? I don't know what music I've got loaded up on my Spotify. Nothing, apparently. Okay, this one's good. Which contradicts everything I just said. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Okay. That was actually a pretty solid set, I'm not gonna lie. I just need to memorize where my legs are and where my feet are. So, one, two, one, two. Two of the ball sacks, sorry, rubber balls on the bottom, up. So my foot, my heel is on the third ball sack. And one, two, three, oh, my eyes. There's too many balls. One, two, three, four, six balls between two balls above. That is my newfound stance for this machine. It's a shame I couldn't figure that out on the belt squat, but again, trial and error and all that. Anyway, that is the end of the episode, video, whatever you want to call it, that is the end. Time to go fill my belly up full of roast potatoes and uh, pop a slapper, couple of sleeping tablets so I can get to sleep super early as I've been sleeping at like one o'clock in the morning. They're not your prescription sleeping tablets. I don't recommend prescription sleeping tablets. They're this like herbal blend that I bought. It's like chamomile and all that sort of stuff. And since taking it, which I don't advise because it does make you drowsy and you don't want to rely on it. I don't rely on it. It's just a way of easing me into the early nights. Um, on top of having a chamomile and passion fruit tea, seems to settle me. Regardless of whether it's a placebo or not, I don't care because it does the job. Anyway, the end. That's a fucking cheese and bacon wrap. <laughs>